Hello everyone, Mike Henderson here, again, continuing with uh, typesetting the novel in uh, Scribus. This is uh, where we left off last time. Now, uh, let me exit that just for the sake of argument. We, uh, we left off after we formatted this bit, and now we're coming to the title page. What I want to do is look at the layout of a book, because one of the objects, of course, as a self-publisher, is to try to make it look as good as possible. So if I open up a book, trade paperback book, there's a certain convention, by the way, they do the page layout. So the first page, when you open it, is this title page with, with nothing else on it. Let's slide down here, and we open that. On the back of that page is, if they have it, is an also buy. And then there is the bona fide title page. This is not how I want it, but this is, at the moment, is how it fell out. All right, copyright page, dedication page. Then, for some reason, there's a blank page. Well, we need another blank page in here, see, to make it look right. So I'm going to go to the dedication page. I'm going to view uh, the control character so I can see where to put it, and I'm going to double click. I'm going to go here and I'm going to do another page insert, control enter. And hopefully that puts a blank page here. There's nothing on it whatsoever. And uh, the acknowledgments, and then what happens after that is uh, I come to part one. But well, part one, if you have such a thing, uh, always begins on the right hand side of the page. Now I don't do a table of contents. Um, you would probably start the table of contents over there as well, but uh, I don't have names for my chapter so honestly there's no point to it in my view. But I do control enter and I, I, I end up with chapter uh, with part one over here and then similarly uh, the first page of a chapter begins on the right and it's on the left so I'm going to need another page after this so we're going to do that control enter this red line just tells you it looks like you're not looking at the whole page see if I slide it over it goes away and now chapter one is on the right hand side of the page and this page is blank that's exactly the way I want to set it up and from henceforth we're going to put chapter numbers on the right and um, um, part numbers on the right. So it's a matter of, uh, so let's just pretend that we've gone through and we formatted all this the way we wanted it so that, you know, this is, let's get rid of those. We're going to get rid of the uh, uh, show control characters. Yeah. This would be centered and this would be centered and so forth. So let's just go down here and we got part one and uh, that's the way it is we got chapter one and neither one of these have uh, page numbers or headers on them or uh, footers you get down to the first chapter if you had put the page number down here then it would show up but we are we have it on the header and we will we want no headers on here so this is going to stay the way it is um, we're going to change a couple things here. Uh, we have a, a one. This is chapter. You can put in your chat, you know, whatever you want to do. We're going to hit F2, uh, text, and what do I want to do? Well, let's just, got to highlight it. Anything you do uh, over here, you've got to highlight the text, otherwise it doesn't know what to do. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just leave the same font and I'll make it a 24 point. So I put in 24 tab, get it to enter, and there it is. Uh, you know, do I want it there? Maybe I want it centered. I, I kind of like the numbers on this version over here. Okay, that's it. I could I say I could I could look at this and do make it bigger. I can do as I want. Now I have this here. I want uh, first line no indent. I have that template set up. 
The other thing you could do, if you didn't have the template set up, you could go up here and do it. Slide this around.